All right, so we need to do a bunch of examples, and that's really our main job for the day and, and, and uh, to make sure that we know exactly what to expect in all cases. The first example is the integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus kx dx, where k is going to be some positive number, some positive constant. This is like the most fundamental, by far, of the uh, definite integrals. Now, in order to uh, 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 improper integrals, now, in order to handle this, the thing that I need to do is to check the integral from 0 to up to n, e to the minus kx dx. And since this is an easy integral to evaluate, we're going to do it. It's minus 1 over k e to the minus kx. That's the antiderivative evaluated at 0 and n. And that, if I plug in these values, is um, uh, minus 1 over k e to the minus k capital N minus, and if I evaluate it at 0, I get a minus 1 over k times e to the 0. All right? So there's the answer. And now we have to think about what happens as n goes to infinity. So as n goes to infinity, what's happening is the, the second term here stays uh, unchanged. But the first term is e to some negative power, and the exponent is getting larger and larger. That's because k is positive here. You've definitely got to pay attention, even though I'm doing this with general variables here, you've got to pay attention to signs of things. Because otherwise, you'll, you'll always get the wrong answer. So you have to pay very close attention here. So this is, if you like, e to the minus infinity in the limit, which is 0. And so in the limit, this thing tends to, tends to 0. And this thing is just equal to 1 over k. And so all told, the answer is 1 over k. And that's it. Now, we're going to abbreviate this a little bit. This thought process, you're going to have to go through every single time you do this. But after a while, you also get good enough at it that you can make it a little bit less cluttered. So let me show you a shorthand for the same for this, for this same calculation, namely, I write 0 to infinity e to the minus kx dx, and that's equal to minus 1 over k e to the minus kx 0 to infinity. I, aha. Uh -huh. That was cute. Not small enough, however. OK, well. All right, so. So here we are. We have the same calculation as we had before, but now we're thinking really in our minds that this infinity is some very, very enormous number. And we're going to plug it in. And you can either do this in your head or not. You say minus 1 over k e to the minus infinity. Here's where I've used the fact that k is positive, because e to the minus k times a large number is minus infinity. And then here, uh, plus 1 over k, right? Minus a minus 1 over k. Let me write it the same way I did before. All right? And that's just equal to uh, 0 plus 1 over k, which is what we wanted. All right, so this is the same calculation, just slightly abbreviated. 